I'm Gary Richardson. Um, me and the team were the uh, picked the talks for the business track of this conference. And um, one of the things that we tried to do is get some real live use cases of Hadoop. So there's a lot of tracks around the technology and the data science elements of it, as well as the operations and security. What we were interested in is some real live use cases where people have actually used the technology some of the difficulties, some of the challenges that you have to overcome in an enterprise session or setting even. So uh, Simone and Marco are gonna take us through using Hadoop to do basket analysis within retailers. So without any further ado, guys, over to you. Okay, thank you, Gary. Um, oh, sorry, I should be, okay, on. Uh, so uh, we'll be talking, and uh, my name is Marco Mantovani, I work for iConsulting. Uh, we'll be talking about market basket analysis uh, for retail. So we'll give you an example of a real application of uh, Hadoop technologies on a retail company to perform market basket analysis uh, algorithms. I don't know how many of you are familiar with market basket analysis uh, algorithms, but in any case, we'll explain uh, a little bit what it, it means. Um, just before getting started, a couple of slides of who is iConsulting. We are a consulting company based in Italy. We have been founded in 2001, uh, and we are only focused on business intelligence, uh, data warehousing, and performance management. As you see the hashtags down there. We have a Twitter account here. If you want to ask questions even after the event, feel free to email or tweet us. Um, uh, we have uh, many clients in Italy and we are now moving our market to UK. So we are now having more than 100 customers in Italy. We are not bound to a specific technology, technology vendor. So we are partner with Oracle, we are partner with Microsoft, with SAP, with uh, SAS. We are partnered with Jaspersoft for the open source. So regarding the business intelligence, that is our traditional business, uh, we work with all the, the, the leading technologies that, we, that, that there are on the market. Um, our methodology is based on agile methodologies, and we are now making a lot of um, use of design thinking uh, methodology, but this is not actually what we are going to talk about. Uh, just a, a little slide with some of our customers. Uh, you can see the first one. I won't tell you why it's the first one, but you can guess. <laughs> I can't tell with, which is the customer we're talking about now. <laughs> um, okay. This slide shows you on the top left uh, the main business that we are dealing with. So business intelligence turning data into information, making analysis, historicizing, organizing data, creating a single version of truth inside an organization. This is a classical project we have been doing for 12, 13 years now. Um, but recently, we have started approaching new trends that involve big data. So big data not only big data, but all the evolution trends mean uh, switching from just analysis of data to action. Means analyzing data in real time because we can't wait the week after to see what I've sold now. We can't wait the day after sometimes. Uh, Self-service business intelligence. So uh, requirements are always changing now and uh, we can't think anymore to classical, traditional business intelligence projects where we do the requirement analysis, the implementation, and after two months or three months, we have delivered a project. In many cases, we need to give a tool to, to the users in order for them to make their own analysis by their own, or without the need of uh, consulting for each single analysis they want to do because maybe they want to make it for next week or just for tomorrow, and so they, they need to have something to use to change parameters, to change uh, 
any filters and so on and make them their own charts, analysis, and so on. Advanced visualization, we have uh, developed some very interesting visualization, uh, visualizations using especially mapping. So we are kind of uh, pioneers in location intelligence projects. You can find some papers and some research work we have done about uh, geographical representation of information, but that's not what we are talking about now. A uh, new type of data, so switching from the classical structured data to unstructured data, so mm, taking into consideration social networks, tweets, uh, web, uh, and so on, so unstru classical unstructured data. Uh, information discovery, so this is something bound to self-service BI, so mm, users uh, now want to have some tools that make them investigate their own data, they, they want to be data scientists inside the company. And so they need to have tools that easily enable them to investigate and discover information on the data. Uh, mobile, social, and so on. And, but what we're talking about today is uh, uh, something uh, new, even respect to this list, uh, that is uh, in executing very complex algorithms like the market basket analysis that we'll see in a minute. Um, for just to give you an idea, uh, the client we are talking about now, so we are presenting the project we've, we've done for this client, they have more than 3,000 points of sales on the world, in the worldwide, and they are performing now the, the bar market basket analysis on a Hadoop that takes into consideration every single line in the invoice. And there are 100 million lines of, uh, of invoices. So you can guess, to perform complex algorithms on such uh, a huge amount of data, it, it can take hours, days, with traditional BI systems. And then if, if you want to change some parameters, if you have made a mistake in the configuration of the algorithm that produces useless results and you need to run again the analysis and call again the consultants and so on. Uh, one key factor is that all our new trends, this one here and the Hadoop one now, they are all fully integrated with business intelligence platforms. So. Uh, what, this is very important for us because we are providing business intelligence tools to our clients and so we don't want to provide another tool for market basket analysis, another tool for mapping, another tool for anything else. We need to integrate everything into the single BI system. So we can, of course we are system integrators, so this is our job to make that things work together. And so we use leading this, in this case, it's an Oracle business intelligence uh, software. And inside that, we have integrated the uh, algorithm, the way to configure and call and, and see the results of a market basket analysis algorithm on Hadoop. Okay, I leave the floor to Simone that will explain more in details how the project is done, and then I'll, I'll make a, a wrap up at the end of the presentation. Okay. Before going to explain uh, in details uh, the project and uh, its implementation, I will uh, explain you some key concepts uh, about the market basket analysis. Market basket analysis, MBA in the future, is uh, an application of a data mining uh, algorithm aimed to identify uh, patterns and co-occurrences relationships. Its scope is uh, to find uh, association rule like A implies B, uh, the mean, uh, which means that uh, if the event A occurs, also the event B occurs too. In our case, uh, the pro in the project, uh, it means uh, if the customer buy the item A, he will also buy the item B. Each uh, uh, association rule is uh, uh, associated with uh, two values that measure its uh, degree of uh, reliability. Support is uh, the percentage of cases in which uh, um, the two events R and B are crossed together, divided by the total of the cases considered. Confidence 
is uh, given the set, uh, given the, um, the time when uh, um, the item A was sold, is the percentage uh, of uh, um, these, these uh, cases in which uh, also the item B is sold to. For example, if, uh, we, if we have uh, a rule like this, or see uh, easy wear implies uh, underwear, with 9% of support and 50% uh, uh, of confidence. It means that uh, on the total uh, cases that we are analyzing, 9% uh, of cases, easywear and uh, underwear are sold together. And uh, in the 50 cases, uh, in the 50% of cases in which we have sold an item uh, of type easywear, also uh, underwear item uh, is also purchased. Okay, as, uh, as introduced by my colleague Marco, uh, the project was developed for an uh, Italian company, leader in the fashion industry, which, uh, and uh, it performed on uh, its sales data from uh, the last uh, three years for uh, uh, about more than uh, 100 million uh, uh, single line of uh, receipts. The result uh, that uh, can be obtain obtained with uh, our uh, solution can uh, be used by, by the user for uh, defining, uh, for example, new promotional initiative for uh, identify optimal schema of the layout of the goods in store and uh, in the showcase and uh, can drive many other decisions. The tools is being used from uh, um, many um, users inside the, the company. The main uh, uh, is uh, uh, visual designer that decide what is the um, layout of the showcase in the shop and, the, on the, uh, uh, and uh, of the product on the shelf. By, is used also by the shop manager to uh, suggest the best items for the customer and uh, is also used by um, the central marketing office for see if they are campaign and they are advertising is going as they expected, and for defining the new one. We have a schema of the architecture of the system. The user can interact with a job management console, which is a graphic user interface in which the user can set some filters and parameters about the analysis that, it, that he wants to perform. These parameters are sent to the MBA job that, uh, for, uh, that is written uh, directly in MapReduce and uh, uh, we go uh, explain it uh, in the next slide. The first thing that the MBA job must do is uh, to uh, get the data, in this case the receipts, from uh, the database. For, use, for doing this, uh, we use Scoop for a quick read and uh, in this project, uh, we have used, uh, the database was a SQL server, but uh, um, the solution can uh, scale easily to, other, to any other types uh, of uh, database. After getting the data, the MBA job can elaborate it, elaborate it and uh, uh, as output, it provides the association rule that the user wanted to uh, discover. This association rule, are directly um, sent to the interactive dashboard of uh, the user BI tools, so he can analyze directly in, uh, his, uh, um, in a tool that he know, and uh, he, he know how to uh, move inside it. In this case, uh, is uh, Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition, but also in this case, we can scale uh, in other tools. The results are also sent uh, via mail, with a um, PDF uh, format, and also are written into the database, so uh, can be used for future analysis or future use. The MBA algorithm is, uh, um, consists in three jobs that run sequentially. Be, um, without going inside the implementation code, we can uh, uh, explain that the first job is uh, responsible for getting the single line receipt and aggregate them in, uh, um, the, final, in, in the receipts. So we have uh, not more the um, single item separated, but uh, a concept of items 
say and it's uh, in the same receipt. The second job is uh, task is to uh, calculate uh, all the item set present in uh, the receipts and uh, calculate is support. So how many time we have the same combination of items on all the uh, receipts uh, that we are considering. And uh, after this, uh, he um, filter this, uh, this uh, item setter based on the um, support criteria that the user has set. The third job is uh, responsible to uh, calculate the association rule and uh, uh, to filter them um, with uh, the minimum confidence criteria that the user has set. We have uh, developed a job management interface that is uh, fully integrated with uh, the standard BI tool because uh, the MBA algorithm can run on a different uh, data set each time and the user can also set a different parameter and uh, criteria for this analysis. Some uh, example of different analysis that can be run is uh, maybe what, time, what type of product are sold together with uh, discounted items or another analysis that uh, is uh, completely different is uh, if uh, there is an association rule uh, different from uh, between uh, uh, shops uh, in a city center and uh, in the, the discount. Um, okay. Here we have uh, a screenshot of the um, uh, job management interface that the user can use. The interface is uh, uh, consisting in several uh, sections. And uh, the first one is, which, uh, is, when, uh, is where the user can set uh, a description of his analysis. So he can uh, give him a name and uh, um, open it uh, after. There are uh, then uh, three sections of filters in which the user can set uh, a period of the analysis, uh, some attribute of the uh, point of sales, and the characteristic of the items he wants to uh, analyze. The other two sections are uh, um, uh, influenced directly what the uh, algorithm of MBA produces as an uh, um, association rule. So the user can set what attributes can uh, contribute to, um, um, to make the uh, association rule and can set the support and confidence parameter that must meet uh, the rule. And uh, after this, uh, he can run uh, MBA, uh, the MBA job. The job take uh, about for, uh, is, uh, the time is very depending on uh, about uh, the filter that the, the user is uh, setting. He go to five minutes if the user complete uh, a full uh, analysis on all uh, the data set and uh, go down to two, three minutes uh, if uh, he do an analysis with some more filters. Um, after this, uh, when the job finish, the user can analyze the result on uh, the dashboard and he have a uh, uh, first table in which uh, he can choose uh, the name of the analysis that he wanted to, uh, to see and uh, the filters and the parameter that uh, he has set. After the, uh, um, under this table, he has uh, two matrices that can uh, be used to identify each rules that is being found and uh, to um, compare the support and the confidence value so he can uh, um, understand if a rule is good or less. It can be also helped by the color of the single cell. In this case, we can easily see that this rule is a very high confidence value, 100%, but have a support that is very lower. So it means that this combination of items are sold always together, but very few time. Um, the user can uh, see that uh, these other rules have a, less, uh, a little lower confidence value, 
but have a support value that is higher. So this means that these items are sold uh, um, many times together, many times, and uh, always, uh, also always uh, together. Okay. Uh, here, um, for uh, explaining you the potentiality and uh, the usefulness of uh, the system, here we have a real analysis that the user uh, have performed on the system. The user, in this case, were interesting of uh, analyzing the um, market campaign of a new type of bra that they have uh, spent many, many money on advertising and uh, TV spots. So they have uh, run an analysis on uh, the, uh, all the sales of the point of sale located in city center you know, with uh, all the items except the uh, knitwear. Um, in this case, they found uh, a rule that uh, is a uh, new bra implies sleep uh, and baby doll that, is, uh, that have, uh, have a support of uh, 36% and a confidence of 52. This means uh, that uh, uh, in the 36% uh, of uh, considered receipts uh, contains uh, these two object, uh, these three objects sold together. And uh, when a new bra is sold, he also drives the sales of uh, a slip and uh, of a baby doll in the 52% of uh, cases. Then they um, do the same analysis with the same parameter, but considering only the sales in the point of sales in the shopping center. So no more in the city, but outside where there are other uh, shops and uh, other people that uh, frequent the, that go there. They don't find more the, pre the previous um, association rules, but they found this new one. And uh, so they can, uh, uh, the meaning of which is that uh, in, the shipping set, in the shopping center, the sales of easyware drive the sales of the new bra. So it's not more the bra that drives any, any, any other items, but it's uh, the easyware that drives the new bra. Uh, so the user can um, uh, leverage this, um, can use this association rule to leverage the uh, customer behavior. Yeah, so. Okay, uh, so yeah, as you can see, this is something that is very important for uh, a shop manager that needs to uh, understand what is the customer's behavior? So I am in a, in, a shopping, in, in a shop that is inside a shopping center. What do I need to suggest to a customer that buys an easy wear? It is very likely he will buy a, a new br that new bra. If I am in the city center, I can maybe arrange the showcase to show the new bra because maybe that attracts clients, that attracts customers that will buy something else, maybe two more products in many cases. So this is something that, uh, yeah, of course, here in Amsterdam, they show directly the, the girls, <laughs> maybe without the bra, but that's different. <laughs> uh, but uh, so this is something that, uh, and this is just a specific campaign, the specific new bra that we are analyzing now. So uh, when the, the, the company creates a new product, creates a new campaign, and wants to see how uh, customers behave, react to that campaign, or how they behave in a specific kind of shops, and so on. This this kind of, of tool is is really really important. So we we have started that like a, as a POC without making even the client pay for that, but then it started to, to create a, a great interest in the client, and now we have a, a big, that's is now one of the biggest projects that is going on with uh, our client, so it's, uh, it's been very successful. So as I said, now business users can investigate and make their market basket analysis, they can see uh, correlations, they can see which products drive which other products uh, and so on. They can customize their algorithm so they have the freedom to, uh, well, they start a new campaign, they don't have to call us. They just have the, the system, they configure the analysis, press start, couple of minutes, they have the result. And that's, that's great. They, 
they, well, this, this is time, these are, uh, the, the time of, uh, of the processing is that short that we couldn't even uh, think at the beginning of, of the project. Uh, as I said, very important the transparent integration between the Hadoop cluster and the business intelligence platform. But now, what, what is our idea for what well, kind of future work? Um, well, this is a project. This is a market basket analysis algorithm. We have developed the project, integrated with business intelligence. We are system integrator. We have done our job. But from now on, what we'd like to see is to switch from a project to a solution, a solution that enables developers to create uh, a, a framework to integrate uh, data mining algorithms that run on Hadoop systems with the business intelligence. So not just one algorithm that is market basket analysis uh, and is cabled in the code, but uh, he's, we'd like to have something that exploits the Hadoop parallel execution and distributed file system that gives us astonishing performances for these kind of algorithms, data mining algorithms in general. Then we have the integration with the business intelligence tool. This is another ingredient we really want. And having the user independent on data integration, so select which data goes in, into the algorithm, select uh, which data you want as an output, uh, select which time frame you want to analyze, and so on. You, you need to, to parameterize the algorithm. For example, for the market basket analysis, you need to select the minimum support, the minimum confidence, and so on. Other algorithms may want other parameters. So what we really want, want to see, what we really like to, to think is that uh, in, in the future, we'll have not just one project, but a solution that we can uh, give to, the to, the, to our client and say, okay, now this is a solution. We have implemented the market basket analysis inside that, but if you want another data mining algorithms that find other kinds of correlations or other kinds of investigations, we can easily implement that in the same tool so you will have the same uh, configuration page, the same output page, the same uh, architecture, so you, we don't need to, to create a new, brand new project, but just develop the new algorithm put it there and have the Hadoop infrastructure to uh, make the, their job. So this is something that uh, will be very, I think, ver very nice as, as general. I think no one is doing something like that. So someone, just a few are doing the project right now. So uh, many of them are just doing Hadoop analysis. So. Uh, the client calls you and says, okay, I need to make a market basket analysis on this kind of, on this set of data, please do that. You take the data, you put in a do, run it, and give the results to the client. Now we have done something that gives the freedom to make themselves that, that kind of, of job. But we'd really like to, to give them a full uh, freedom to make their uh, analysis and easily implement new algorithms. Okay, uh, we are finished. We are a bit, a bit uh, ahead of schedule. Uh, if there are questions, there are plenty of time. Yeah. Um, how long would be normal? How long would be? With, with, with traditional, well, I say that with traditional systems, so just using uh, databases and procedures and so on, we couldn't really think of doing that. So uh, we, have, we, ha we had tried several years ago with the same client, by the way, and the project failed because it took very long to execute. And then, uh, of course, when you execute this kind of algorithms, it's very likely that it, cr it produces useless rules because if you don't set the correct parameters, that just produces, or if you buy uh, a bra, then uh, you buy a uh, that slip and so on. Uh, so that's very, uh, even the business of the client is very, very hard to produce good rules. 
So you produce bad rules, okay, let's try to change a parameter and it takes hours to produce the results and the, the user just quits and, and doesn't use that. With this, with this system we could produce a result in minutes and so that, that is useful now. Yeah, yeah, five, five minutes. How many nodes? Well, there are uh, now around 10 nodes. We have started with three just for development and now we are on 10 nodes. Um, <coughs> I have another question. So in the retail yeah. space there are lots of SKUs. So I suppose that this particular company has a, a few thousand if not more than 10,000 SKUs. So yeah. um, to what extent do you reduce those? Um, uh, that, that really depends on what the user wants to do. That's something they could choose actually from this interface here and they say when they select the analysis attributes they can say they can select like in this case the, the type of article that is an aggregation of the SQ and so in this kind we are about I don't know 100 categories but they can go down to the single article, the single collection of article. This is another level that is a family, that is another level that is configuration. And this is down to the code. This is SQ. So it depends on what they want to do. So if they restrict the analysis and they want to see only bras, only red bras, and they want to see how each one is behaving with respect to the other, they go down to the SQ level. If they want to make an overall analysis on shopping centers, on, on a new campaign, then maybe they want to, to see a, a high level category to reduce the, the, the rules that, that come out uh, more significant. And as a follow on, maybe if I may, um, you just made an example about the baby doll and the slip to be, you know, that were bought together with a bra. That's yep. a one to two mapping. Right, uh, rather than yeah. a one-on-one -on -one mapping, how uh, doesn't doesn't that make it even more complicated? Uh, sorry, uh, that on two campaigns. Sorry, I, I didn't. Right, get the example that, that example? was given was that you said that. Um, ah yes, that one I said. Okay. The new bra got to bought together with slip and baby doll. But yeah. Those are two items. Yeah. So. That that means that you need to start looking at which three items get bought together, or how do you do it? Yes, yes, that's, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, something that uh, the rules take into account. So if, uh, if there are two items sold together, then that's an easy rule. But uh, sometimes uh, that's more useful to have uh, an, an idea of a product that drives the choice of two products. That's even better to push on that behavior. So put in, in evidence that product that lets you sell other two products. So that's very important for a marketing user. So that's been a request to make that. Uh, uh, hi, I would have another question. Um, I'm interested, uh, when you developed uh, those rules, did you use any specific library or did you develop the algorithm yourself? Uh, we've started using uh, Mahout for for the data mining algorithms, but then we switched to custom coding of the algorithm because the out out of the box algorithm didn't allow us to specify all the parameters we wanted to specify that were the minimum confidence, the minimum support, and that didn't allow you to specify that and filter out rules based on those parameters. So in the end, we prefer to write our own algorithm in this case. But uh, yes, for other algorithms, it's maybe easier to use, uh, to use out of the box algorithms. Okay, and, and I would have another question. Uh, when those specific rules were created, ca can, you, can you describe the process, how, how you, um, is this automatic process to import them into, uh, into the BI tool? Yep. or uh, do you do it manually? Uh, so to import to the BI tool, this kind of, uh, when, when the algorithm finishes, the algorithm execution has got a name that you give it, again, on the top there, analysis description. So they, in this case, is 
well, just test uh, uh, article type uh, analysis. Uh, but that specific name is then stored into the database that is underneath the BI tool. And on that name, we have table, well, a table that is filtered with the name we are selecting right here. This is description. So they filter that kind of analysis, and then they see the rules that have been produced and pushed into the, into the database. So at the end of the algorithm, uh, the Hadoop job writes into the Oracle database that is underneath the, uh, the, the BI tool, but it's just a few rows. If you see, this is the, the, the complete table of the rows that have been produced by this run. Uh, the important thing is that the, the execution is historicized here. So if the user wants to see a previous run of the algorithm or a different run, run by another user or so on, they just select from the list another, another analysis. Yeah, yeah I have uh, two questions. Yeah. Uh, one question is, uh, why Hadoop? Um, did you look at other uh, possible solutions except for the stored procedures you mentioned earlier before selecting Hadoop for this problem? Well, Hadoop, uh, let's say, um, the amount of data is huge and um, the fact that you could run into small clusters of servers and scale out if you want to improve performances, to if you want to increase the number of users that perform the jobs uh, uh, and so on, that, that is um, the best solution to scale out. Scale out in data amount, in algorithm complexity, in users that use the application. At the beginning, of course, we were just our users, development users that were using the solution and were running on three nodes. And then we gave it to the shop managers, we gave it to the marketing managers, and we needed to, to scale the number of nodes, of course. Uh, uh, second question is, do users in this setup have a way to compare different runs to see what the differences might be between those three months you've compared now and the three, month, the three previous months, for example? Uh, that's something they have not they have not asked yet, but uh, that's a good idea. Uh, they select the period uh, from the uh, first window, so they select, I want to see what happens in this period. Even because uh, the main drive of the things is the marketing campaign. So they know that the marketing campaign has started in July and finished in December, and so they want to analyze that. But uh, yes, it's true. If they want to compare the marketing campaign of 2014 with the marketing campaign of 2013, that could be something useful. Now they need to run two times the analysis with uh, different uh, filtering. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know which is first. <laughs> that's, a <laughs> that's a hard question. Well, uh, that's something, that's exactly the aim of the project, to give something to uh, improve the business. So to find the rules that make them uh, find the best way to place the, the items in the shop, the best way to present a campaign. And so, of course, this is the aim, but we have not a measure of how much money they can do more or less yet. So. This is just a tool that enables them to analyze what happens, but not, so not in the... No. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's something that is really, it would be really interesting. And yeah, actually that's a good idea because 
we could just add a, a column here and show them with this case, in, in this case is here, you have sold these items together and you have gained uh, one million euros and so on. That's very good. I think we'll, we'll suggest that to the customer for the next developments. <laughs> oh, there's... Uh, yeah, first. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, actually they have, um, uh, they, they have in the real system, they already have something that emails them automatically the report, maybe on a regular basis if they want. This is something that we have already thought about. Thank you. Okay. Yep. One minute left. <laughs> 59 seconds. Uh, so this is now in a Hadoop cluster uh, in the client's premises, so it's yeah, it's open source, but it's open for the client, and not <laughs> <laughs> not for the community. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs>